How we doing guys? Welcome back. So, last time we found Penta, our new android companion, friend... I mean, no, not really sure whether she counts us as either of those, but can't be beggars and choosers in the situation we're in. Uh, anyway, so we found her in an ice wall. We also found the next portal where we're going in an ice wall, and going from there, I guess we're just gonna have to go through one by one, judging by the fact that more ice walls will unlock with more shards. I guess it's how they're doing progression in this storyline or something like that. Anyway, so we went back to the tavern, having gained a whole bunch of loot. We do have a lot of gold we could spend. We are I'm actually going to hold on for now. I wanted to buy something really big and like a permanent upgrade because we're getting a lot of loot that sort of seems like it could be earned relatively quickly if we go to a new area, judging by how much loot they dropped on us last time. So going from that, I don't want to buy like minor upgrades that are just going to be like replaced in five minutes or so so going from there i don't think there's too much else to say so we're going to head back into the frost fane i call it the ancient fane, but the frost region and going from there we'll just i assume go into the next area we do have oh, pentanel with us that. although a quick look at this suggests that Oh, there's more loot on the ground we missed last time. That would have been helpful. Uh, what was it? Let's shoot from power and four to all mobility uh, skills. Hmm. It's not bad on anybody. Constitution is generally a global thing. You do want to have it on your tank in theory, but you want to have it on whoever's doing mobility, which I guess is probably going to be us. Although these two will uh, cancel out, so we're only getting the constitution base with us which I guess is a bit of a waste so who's actually got the highest mobility after us no one that's gonna matter so I guess you shove it on the tank seems to be the obvious place to put it then what's that double stacking with bark skin okay that's fine whatever that'll wear off in however long Surprised it's last this long. I think we used that against the demon early on. Cloak of resistance on the tank. Always get the best upgrades on your tank so they don't fall over. It's a general good way of surviving in this game. You've already got a plus two. Guess it's you next. I think that was the only upgrades I saw. So going from here. Need to sort out formation because uh, Penta should not be at the front. Feels weird calling her Penta, I'll be honest. I guess that this is more accurate now, because these two need to sort of be mid. Her to do her buffing AoE and her to do her healing AoE. So technically we have like a second healer now instead of a mage damage dealer. I don't know whether that's better or worse, but I guess we'll find out because the way through is over here. There's no loot we missed last time or anything, is there? After that first loss, I'm sort of paranoid. Right through to the Verdant Caves, which I guess should at least be more pleasant than where we are. Certainly looks more livable. Although apparently it's falling apart, so, you know, how long that remains the case, who knows. That looks like a, I'm trying to, you know, explore everywhere, so I don't want to just rush forward randomly. Looks like there's two ways to go. This looks more like a side route. Oh, this is just the edge of the map. Okay, that. I'm not touching that. How? What? How close do you have to get to do that perception check? We were like right there. Normally they trigger from like over here somewhere. Unless it's like hidden perception checks and we were doing them while running past, but I still would have thought uh, Fergus would have gone past it already. So anyway, I guess we're going this way. Who are you? This, no, this can't be the person with the shard. They don't look evil enough. Clouds are gathering. That's the signal. The giants are coming. Wonder, uh, wanderers hide and be quick about it. That seems like an awful waste if there's only three of them and you let the giant kill one of you before the boulder dropped. Oh, and there's the second giant that kills your other friend, I assume. Easy prey. 
Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this guy isn't the guy with the shard. Just off the fact he's an idiot. <laughs> uh, how long do you... I assume stun... Unconscious for four seconds. Okay, we're going to have to deal with him first. I was debating whether I had to deal with this guy first. Uh, or we could deal with the guy who's actually up. But no, it turns out we just have to kill that guy and hope that this guy lives long enough to... Uh... <sighs> Okay, that fell over really quickly. Again, I was expecting harder fights from now on. Might not be the case. Well, he does cleave. Annoying. The dark head Kellard is breathing heavily, not looking at you. You can't take his eyes off the scene of the brutal massacre. We're all dead. Accursed giants. We'll be back. We'll have our vengeance. Uh, no, if you've got two out your own... Like, judging by the fact that he says all... You got t your two friends both killed trying to take down one giant and you forgot there was a second one? But you didn't even kill the first one by yourself. Ugh, right. Definitely sure this guy isn't the guy we're after. Hold on, not time to fight, fight those giants alone, are you? If you're counting on our help, we just need to know a little bit. We need to know a little bit, just a little. We shouldn't go chasing after death after we just escaped again. Who are you? Uh, the man nods slowly, recovering little by little. Who are you? I am Ardin, the chief. No, that's not right. My child father was chief, and I will just uh, and I just try to take care of what's left of the tribe as best I can. My father had two sons, and did not manage to name either of us his successor before his death. My Jason suggests Keller tribes prefer open spaces. What could have forced them to crawl into these caves? Those giants caught uh, the giants caught us and drove us here like livestock. Why were the giants chasing you? We're prisoners of the giants, my tribe and I. Today I tried to fall, uh, to take the fight through our presses, but we were not strong enough. <laughs> Clearly not. Of course you aren't strong enough. You have no chance against them. That's obvious. Did you even have a plan? Anything other than rushing <laughs> into battle and hoping for the best? Or is it some sort of ritual suicide? Don't judge them. Is life and captivity life at all? Running to a giant's mouth is it, and dying isn't much of a life easier, uh, either. Or am I, uh, am I saying you shouldn't resist? Of course you should, but you have to be smart about it. Quiet and careful. You sound just like my brother. Your brother sounds a lot smarter than you. Um, what, uh, why do the giants need slaves? A bit of labor here and there, but every prisoner ends up in the cauldron sooner or later. In the cauldron? You mean... Yeah, that's uh, yes, that's right. The culinary habits of giants are well documented, unfortunately. What will you do now? I will, uh, I will make my way back to my people. We will find a way to free ourselves, no matter what. Come with me. If I bring help, that will help unite the tribe. Right. I'm going to guess the giants have the shard. Just off the way this is going. Um, at least I hope it isn't his brother. Admittedly, that would be a nice plot twist. But... Something tells me one of the giants has the shard. Knowing our luck, the biggest, nastiest one. It seems we'll have face it no matter what. Yeah, okay. Slight hit. Again, would be a fun little plot twist if it's suddenly his brother that has the shard. Although I guess it wouldn't make sense in power terms. Uh, how many giants are there? Just over a dozen, but each worth 20 of my warriors. They didn't seem that tough, so your warriors must be garbage. But also, if there's just over a dozen we just killed two, does that mean there's just over 10? Or is that just over a dozen accounting for the fact we just killed two, so there were like 15 and now there's 13? Does make a difference with the numbers. Uh, some of your tribe is not willing to fight. Every Keller is a brave warrior, but these uh, daily horrors have broken the spirits of many of us. My brothers, for instance, my brother believes uh, we should hide and wait for an opportune moment without taking unnecessary risks. He'll, st he'll still be waiting after we're all dead. Okay, he's not wrong, but also his brother still sounds smart. Uh, it seems we have no choice. Let's go. Excellent. With allies like you, we'll surely win. So let's uh, listen. Here's the plan. We'll slip right under the giant's nose into part the ca uh, into part the cave where people are being kept. Introduce you to the tribe and come up with a plan. So the plan is to come up with a plan. How I love planning plans. Not as much as you love pointless chatter. Let's hurry, though. Those giants are far enough away. Let's hurry, those giants are fu- What? I don't make any sense. Those giants won't be far away forever? Would make more sense in my head? I don't know, maybe I'm reading that wrong, but like... The giants are far enough away, it's not a reason to run at them. 
Another amulet of natural armor that can go on. I guess you. I assume you don't have. Well, you don't have bad AC. But you have a shield and can turn on defensively, I believe. Did I bother giving you. I didn't put any ranks into that, so fight defensively isn't giving the extra bonus. I guess this still goes here. But it's very close. Yeah, okay. Um, right. So I guess he's over here is where we're going. This looks like a side path, though. With loot on it. Seriously, who has been in charge of these caves? Certainly not observant people with the amount of loot that's just lying around. What's he looking at? Careful, there's a giant patrol ahead. By which he means the giant just walking around. Presumably in complete idiocy. Way's well, clear, we can move up to... So I'm separated? The giant definitely heard that. Hide! I mean, I'm not sure I could take a giant one-on-one. -on -one. one hit and I'm dead. I'd be relying on a lot of luck. Admittedly, I could, like, nuke it, I guess, but I need to get lucky. Do I have to do that athletics check? Is there a way around doing that athletics check? I mean, I guess I could sneak off. I don't know whether that's a good idea, though. Um, we really don't have good athletics. I mean, I guess if I took this off... That's better? I wouldn't necessarily call it good. I mean, we're still... What? About a 15% chance of doing this? Wait for him to go away again and then try it, I guess. But they wouldn't leave this here if it did absolutely nothing, so I'm curious now what this does. I guess we failed. So now we're forced to meet up later. We nat one day as well. Oh, Jesus. I was never getting through that then. What do I? Uh, definitely need that chainmail on now. Um, is there any way we could make ourselves unencumbered? I don't think we've got anything on us that's an easy takeoff to get down what we need. Other than the chainmail, which we kind of need for armor right now. Because, like, that's 4 AC we're losing. And I don't want to have to try equip that mid combat. So, I guess sneaky, sneaky time. We should be pretty sneaky. Like, what's your perception? Like, their wisdom's only 10, and I can't imagine they have too many buffs to. Invulnerable Rager. Oh, that's the Barbarian class. Okay. Should head up the ramp now. Yeah, okay, now we can go. I'm assuming the way's out over here. Always watch your back. God, we're so slow like this. This is where speed stealth would really help. But I always overlook that talent. I figured there'd be loot hanging around. Yeah, it doesn't seem we have to be too careful about it. This giant's ahead will cover you. Okay. Perception check failed, so there was something I missed. Guess we're going to have to keep pushing then.
can get round. I, we might be able to. Nope, never mind. So what, drop the boulder on its head? That didn't seem to activate it. So I guess it triggers, but it still has to physically be able to see you. Which it can't even do at that range. So I guess we get closer and then come over treasures. here. And then the boulder goes on its head. Now we have to finish it. Can't help you anymore from here, be careful out there. No, it's just straight dead, okay. Loot, 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 any loot? This is an interesting little stealth section, but it's not really a stealth section. The stealth doesn't really work the way you think it would. Judging by the fact that I had an auto trigger though, I'm gonna guess stealth in the way it normally works doesn't actually work. And it's more being not being in areas where they're supposed to be looking. Oh, this guy's just looking out over the hole. No. Oh, he switches between <laughs> between the two areas. So I guess we have to wait. Wait for him. How quickly does he switch? One, two, three, four. About every five seconds. With about a five second interlude. Okay. We should be able to get a little closer. But he should be back here now. I'm assuming stealth, my actual stealth value doesn't matter, and it's all about um, not being in the place he's trying to be. They'll never see me coming. Should be coming back over here. Move, move, move. He's appeared over there. Run, 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 run. Like th there's no actual point stealthing. Is the thing because it's not how the game seemed to work in that first encounter, and I'm assuming they're all programmed this way. Now where do I go? Oh, across this? Climbing down the ste uh, steep slope will not be very difficult, but getting back up will be impossible. Well, I don't see a way forward up, so I assume go down. But what's that? Three giants out of the way? He said there were just over a dozen? So assuming that it wasn't, it was already taking into account that two had died. There's ten left. That's easy. If they're doing the numbers right, I don't know if they're bothering with those sorts of numbers. Looks like we broke away. Let's take a breather. And idiot is running forward. <clears throat> Perceive return to life, Arden. The voice of the unclad marching towards you is devoid of happiness. What happened to those who went with you? Those who believed in your plan? Where are they? Tell me, brother. This is presumably the brother. Uh, they're dead, Talkerman. Uh, but at least we tried. How dare you accuse me what, when your best plan is to sit quietly and wait for us to devour us one by one. And who's this? Ah, someone else. Uh, ah, and stop. Someone else is coming. Interactions will, uh, will have to wait. Giants are coming. Try not to draw attention to uh, any attention to yourselves. I think a uh, small disguise won't hurt us. Presumably, some kind of illusion-based thing. Translator: The Kellid standing behind the uh, side the giant. Chieftain does not look uh, as exhausted as this tribesman. He is clearly better fed, not burned in with hard labor. The giant lets out a series of unintelligible growling screams with the killer travelers. Today, several prisoners tried to escape. Every fugitive was caught and killed. Our hosts have not taken anyone for dinner in recent days, but catching fugitive is a hungry work. The giant nods to the translator who uh, approaches the killer crowd. Translator thoughtfully examines the tribes people, each prisoner growing visibly nervous when his late gaze lingers on them. Translator gaze stops on your party and spends a long time examining you before turning to your companions and finally abruptly pointing uh, to a Kellard standing next to Sindri, uh, Sendri. Who presumably goes and gets eaten. <laughs> I mean, they've actually done the animation for kidnapping, which I guess 
go then. They don't normally bother with them. At least in this game. Considering moves to help the unfortunate Kellard, but uh, Ricard stops him, uh, stops his foot and hisses. Uh, don't move. Stop or you'll kill us all. Giants begin to disperse and translate approaches you once again. Hey you, we should talk. I live over there. Just cu uh, come in. Just be quiet. This is how they consume us, one by one. You're right about one thing, we can no longer wait. We need a plan. I don't know who you are or how you got in here, but you seem like experienced warriors. Come with us and we'll discuss how we get out of here. Unsurprisingly, the tribe's women were... Well, the tribe person was not very happy with presumably having his wife nicked and presumably getting eaten. Okay, where are we? That guy's just wandering around, so I'm assuming we're not perma-hostile anymore. Probably because of this. But not end the effect of... Okay, so we can kill them one by one. Is how the way I read that. Levels. Not that we needed them. Why are you offering me point blank shot? We don't use ranged weapons on this guy. Very annoying when they try and like force you to... So this is the thing, people will be people who are new to the game will be relying on this to tell them which ones to go with. In what world does the melee class want this? I know we're a rogue, but like rogues have the melee options. They should really like look at what ranged uh, other skills you've got and figure that out from there. Double slice is definitely an option. Like, double slice should be there if you're using two melee weapons and you have two weapon fighting instead of a uh, point blank shot. Is what I'm trying to say. Hmm. I don't see any other amazing ones. Fast stealth, I'm definitely more thinking about, given that this is more of a story driven campaign. What do we get next level? Improve blind fighting. Uh, okay, that's not terrible, but we do lose the rogue feat we would normally get there. But I think at this level we go... I think at this level we go double slice. Our sneak attack should also do a hell of a lot now. Uh, we don't really need you for this. This is always going to be important. This is always going to be important. I guess... Backup trickery? Question mark. Never sure on where to put those extra points because they, they sort of become redundant on certain people. Definitely think because this is where ranged rogue works because he's actually a ranged rogue, but that that's his entire build. It should, probably should update better than this. Otherwise, it's basically advising all rogues to go range, which I disagree with on a fundamental level. I know early game rogue, uh, ranged rogue is good, but after that it becomes a bit meh compared to like an actual ranged build. Something like that doesn't really matter. I guess we have other people for persuasion, so we don't need him for that. I'd just go with that. Um... He doesn't really wear armor, so that's not a thing. We have a brew potions. We don't have a scribe scrolls. That I'm aware of. I'm assuming we haven't unlocked the next one of these. Um, what's that one require again? 
basically because if I want to go down the summoning road, I need to actually start specialising into it now. Not that we're really using summons that often in this DLC, but it's nice to have the option. But I think for the moment we go... here. <clears throat> and then... Don't need to worry about that. That's a good one. But this is better. Because we're actually, probably at some point we are going to reach something that actually, you know, has spell resistance and we need to get through it like the demon at the end of the last uh, DLC but here I mean this only works on himself that's not the person I'd want to use that on hypnosis is probably not a good idea mage armor is just a general good one to have As I said, probably at least want to try have those summoning options available. That's good, but we have enough piercing damage options. I'd want more elemental damage options. Which... I mean, Spike Pit's also a great one. Spike Pit is just an evolved version of uh, Pit, and therefore amazing. Haste, I guess, would be good. Because haste on the person who's scribing soul scrolls is typically insane. But we need to up buy a better version of the scribe scrolls. So that we could make these. And then we'd have permanent haste because you just make it every time you rest. Not that we're resting that much, but... You essentially don't have to spend a level 3 spell slot in order to cast haste every combat. Or at least on big combats. It's how I typically run it in the main campaign. Okay. <sighs> Go with that one. Uh, Stone Lord, I don't think there's too much to say here. I'll be honest, if you... Athletics seems like a good thing until you consider how much armor they're in. And then you just give up on it and go somewhere else, like Perception. It's always been the problem with tanks, is you can't take on and off armor. So it's not really worth it. Um, do we have access to any of the shield talents that's the one because that really helps negate a lot of the incoming damage at least if you're under massive range attack not that we've been under massive range attack this dlc they seem to like the melees but every single bit of reinforcement you can give your tanks is typically good it's just how it works Yeah, so we'll go with that one. Uh, there, there, there. I guess that one can go in there. Do I care about how much damage you're putting out? Um, not as much as I care for ignoring that, because that can be a big problem sometimes. If you're getting surrounded, but you need that urgent AoE healing, this is the way you avoid healing your enemies. Level 1. Um, that only hits one time. If that was an AoE, I think I'd take it, but a level 1, most of the spells from this point on sort of suck. So, that only affects her, not exactly who I'd want it on. That one's always been a weird one to me. Like, what? Uh, what? <laughs> I mean, it's, it, it's a way of tanking up on the tank, I guess, but I don't know any tank that has access to this spell or it would re reliably use it instead of, like, another spell. So it's always been a bit weird. Um, I guess Bane. Bane's always a good one to have on back burner. I don't want you being the summoner, so we can ignore that option. Normally I'm okay having double summoners, like in the main campaign, having double summoners is really good because you need to use it a lot. Not so keen on in this sense. Um, I guess... That's a good one to have. It's a bit weird to try and use that one. There are certainly better spells, but it's a good one to have in your back pocket. And then here, I'll be honest, I normally pick this up because I hate all the other ones. 
all of these are typically good to have in your back pocket just for whenever you need them but it takes a while to get them all blindness is the one that's really difficult to remove though definitely want to pick up remove curse at, uh the remove disease and curse at some point though although we have brewing now as well as an option so i'm going to risk it you can buy some of these so i'm going to do this one so we can start removing some of the um diseases that are still with us like this one from the first campaign i'm just going to go with whatever they've done but this seems fine so i'm going to stick with whatever they've done here Make a range attack and add your intelligence room to the... Ooh. Is that like a standard thing anymore? I have never seen this time. Is this new? Well, I guess that's why a way of making int work in ranged attacks, but... Like, it doesn't say a prerequisite has to be like any class-specific thing. But I guess I've never had an archer with int high enough before, an int that would matter. Because I guess you are sacrificing multi-shot. Because it's just an attack with a ranged weapon, it's not you get to like rapid shot this. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, definitely interested in this. But lingering performance is really good. Like, really good. So I think I go with that one. Focus shot is definitely something to consider, though. Um, any of these matter? I guess another grease caster is always going to be at least somewhat viable. Not necessarily at higher levels, but if you get surrounded by stuff, it's not the worst thing in the world to have. So that's just an AoE, like, knockover. That's not terrible. Slow is always an interesting one, because it's very hard to find times where it's usable. And that's how you turn it into an AoE healing. Okay. Interesting. So I guess I don't need the healer if I've got her, but I kind of do for the potions. It's an interesting dilemma. Um, what's Blink do again? Oh, that's the... It's not actually a teleport, which is what I was looking for, for that area we can't get to in the Ice Realm. Um... That's a good one, because that's a way of fixing a stunned tank. So I guess what we do is take all the bard buffs. So she gets stinking clouds, uh, and a bardic performance is a move action instead of, oh, that means she gets to attack while doing it. Oh, that's strong. Okay, that's an interesting character build for him then. Never really done, like, a super bard build before, because they don't appear in the main story in this one. Or at least not significantly. But I'll leave it here, and I will see you guys in the next one.